All right, hey, stay tuned, David, because, honey, you, you like tough guys. Oh, yeah. I got a tough guy here. Mertis Deitman started his rodeo career back in 1961. He was the first black cowboy to ride the National Rodeo Finals. Many credit him with paving the way for future rodeo stars. Mr. Deitman is now being inducted into the Rodeo Hall of Fame, and he joins us this morning. Good morning, Mertis. Good morning. Great to have you here. Boy, you've got some stories yes. to tell the folks. What an honor uh, to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I was just hoping one day that I would get to get in the Hall of Fame. You know, I was my, I was my doubt. I didn't think I was going to make it. But last year, uh, I started a guy named Charlie Sampson, the riding bulls. And uh, last year, he called me and said, Mr. Murdy. I said, yeah, he's a man. Come to, come to, uh, I went to Colorado Springs. Uh -huh. And they'll keep in the Cowboy Hall of, Hall of Fame in Colorado Springs. He was the first black champion cowboy. And I started him. He's the first black and went in Colorado Springs. And he called me. I want to put him out there. <laughs> now, I want, to, I want to get some old photos because... We have some pictures of Murtis in action. Look at this. Bull riding at its best right here. You were seven times in the, in, in, yes, sir. into the World Series. Tell us about some of the... I mean, this had not... This couldn't be easy. To, it's a tough sport anyway. Then you go into some arenas, and maybe some people didn't want you in there. Oh, yeah, I went to a lot of arenas. You know, but the, like I said, the rodeo never was prejudiced. But the town and thing I'd give them was pretty. The rodeo know. people themselves. Yeah, they just like they just like a big family. They would even help you beat them. You know, they would pull your rope <laughs> or whatever to beat whatever could loan you. They would loan it. You know, but a lot of towns I went in, they'd uh, they, they'd make you right after rodeo and playing like that. But I didn't care because I'd win anywhere. And uh, it was it was a good sport. And I tell you what, that's I like to do it all over again. Well, well, the message I guess the that you want to pass along is you just kept going. You stayed focused on what you were doing despite what other people were doing. Yeah, I had a lot of more guys, you know, was, was like Willie Tones and Freddie Gordon. They rode them way for I did black guys, and they didn't want to kind of, uh, kind of show me how to go by it. And uh, so I was looking at TV one time, and I seen all these white guys on TV. So I said, uh, "Man, I wonder why I don't see no black guys uh -huh. in, in the final." So I got told, "He said, man, I just want to let you go." I said, "What you mean? We want you to go?" And I said, "Bull is a bull." Yeah. You know, I said, "Well, they ride them, I can ride them." <laughs> and so they said, "Well, I don't know about that." So I got out there and tried, and I wound up in, in '64. I wound up in 15th place. And the rest is history. And the rest of it is history. And now you're going to the Hall of Fame. Going out and made it. All right, Murtis. Thanks for joining us this morning. I sure appreciate Congratulations it. Congratulations to you on a great career and now into the Rodeo Hall of Fame. Murtis Dightman.